guys welcome back to my channel it's zoe i'm still alive i'm still doing well it's been a minute since i made a video um it's just it's been a crazy two years that's all i'm gonna say it's been so crazy i wanted to start my youtube again that's why i'm back and this time i want to be more consistent this video is just gonna strictly be a whole update of what's been going on since the last time i posed um you know everything what's happening now and what this channel is going to bring forth from now on let's get right into the video first of all i just can't believe i came on here looking like this like usually when i come on here my hair is done makeup is done i'm looking decent i ain't gonna say i've been looking the best but i'll be looking decent but this is not me but this is how i look every day basically well i look worse than this but i had to fix myself up a little bit but um yeah this is pretty much i ain't straighten my wig or nothing i don't have on no type of makeup i haven't got my eyebrows done in forever um i just been being a mom and mom life has been rough but enjoyable at the same time what i want to get into is me getting closer to god so basically um i started this whole journey of me want to get closer to God. I used to be, well, I ain't gonna say close to God, but I, I didn't know about God in church. And I used to read my Bible like literally every now and then. But now um, I'm very into it now. Um, I try to eat, read my Bible, praying a lot more. And I'm just on this like spiritual journey of getting closer to God and becoming a better woman and a better mom that's what i want to be I, I prayed to god um april somewhere in april of 2022 so literally a whole year ago i prayed to god and i told him that i want to get closer to him i told him what i wanted in life what i want to be better at what i wanted to you know get rid of like the bad stuff and i didn't want to live the life that i was living before i wanted to live a whole new brand new life right so uh, I told him that I wanted to go on this journey with him. I was ready for it. And I used to watch a lot of people who talk about their journey with God and how he tests you a lot. And you're going to go through a lot of stuff. And I didn't know. I knew I was going to go through stuff, but I didn't know the stuff that I was going to go through was going to be like that. Like, when I tell you this year has been so, I mean, I ain't going to say this year. Last year was so intense. I probably cried the most last year than i ever cried before stuff just kept happening left and right and i had to keep reminding myself that god was taking me through these things for a reason i heard god talk to me today he told me to make this video today so i that's what i'm doing i'm making this video he told me i need to get back into that youtube but we gonna do it right he also told me today that basically i was on this mountain by myself and i was trying to get to the top the whole time i was on the wrong mountain first of all and then trying to do it all by myself like i knew what i was doing but i didn't it's like i've been climbing up this mountain and going through all this stuff by myself trying to do it and then it's like i went to the mountain when i was on that mountain i told god that i didn't want to do this no more i want to go your path i can't do this by myself i just finally just gave up and i had through that mountain that i went through and got and climbed that mountain to get he knocked me down that mountain and that's why I done went through everything that I went through last year. And he said, look, you need to listen to me. Just follow me. I'm gonna guide you in the right path. You're going this way, but you're supposed to be going that way. I'm on this new mountain. We are slowly taking baby steps up that mountain. And um, I'm excited because um, like small things been happening, but it's like every time I pray for something, it happened. It just didn't happen at the time that I want it to happen but it still happened or it happened in a good way. So I, I really love this journey that I'm going on with God. Um, I pretty much, I've been trying to change as much as I can. It's a slow process. Like it is not an overnight thing. And, um, but I, I don't regret nothing. Even after all the bad things that I went through, I still, praised him i still pray even, even sitting there crying my eyes out I, I still i still thanked him for not leaving me and i thanked him for this journey and i know i just knew like it was gonna get better one day so 
it's getting better now slowly but yeah it's getting better and I'm starting to get happier I'm having this sort of peace that I never felt before and it's something that I never want to get rid of I feel like I'm more isolated to myself I don't really talk to nobody unless it's like my family or yeah just pretty much my family and um yeah that's what's been going on with me I it was just a lot I've been going through so now I'm just trying to get back with God and trying to be a better woman and I hope that this reached my target audience because I want y'all to see this journey that I'm going through whether it's good and bad I just want you to see it next thing um I just want to start back to the I just want to go back to the last video I post so I posted a video I was going to be posting my journey my pregnancy journey with my second child and I ended up stopping I don't even know why I I don't know why I stopped. I don't know why I stopped. But um, I just know that pregnancy was so hard. That was the hardest pregnancy I have endured ever. <laughs> I felt so sick and then I was so tired. And I think that was, I just got really, really lazy in doing my YouTube. So I ended up stopping. So let me tell you what happened then. So the last video, I don't remember how long, far along I was, but I know we didn't find the gender of the baby, but I ended up finding out I was having a boy. And um, he was due July 8th, and I had him July 3rd. He came five days early. And when I tell y'all that pregnancy, when I say that pregnancy was so hard, oh my God, it was so hard. It was just so painful. The whole labor was just long. I was there all day, but he finally came. I think after like 13, 14 hours, he came and I had him and I named him Aaron and i want to show you him i think oh he had the donut he, he had the door now hold on hold on i'm gonna show you look look at the camera <laughs> okay so this is my uh second i mean my second child right here this is aaron he's gonna be two in july so yeah he's one years old now yeah this is my little baby boy do he look like me mm. you don't think he look like me but this is my right hand i'm sorry about his hair and all this other stuff don't worry about that but this is my right hand man like yeah he always want to be next to me yeah this is my boy <laughs> this is my boy I November of 2021 I found out I was pregnant again like I was ugh, I didn't get my body back and I didn't get to get back to myself yet but it was okay I also thought of oh well they'll have another sibling I think this one would be closer to Aaron because they'll be a year apart so um I found out that this one I was gonna be doing August 9th but this baby came July 28th and I found out I was having a boy and I named him well me and his dad we named him Julian um he's named after his dad so he's Julian the third so if you hear me call him 3J or Juju just same person so I'm gonna go get him so I can show you him right quick okay so then I had my baby boy my second baby boy this is Juju Juju look 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 at the screen yeah he's usually my happiest baby this is the happiest baby you'll ever see he always laughing and smiling but i don't know why he's not laughing right now but oh he's heavy he's eight months old yeah he's eight months old so this is my little juju i had uh july 28th so yeah he looks like his daddy he looks exactly like his daddy 
I'm glad he, he's named after his dad because he looks just like him. Say hey, Juju. You wanna say hey? <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, I had him July 28th of 2022. So last year I had him in July as well. I don't know why these kids love July. So fast forward. I found out I was pregnant once again. I found out, I think I found out the end of October. And um, yeah, oh my God, my mind was just like, oh my God, I don't think I could do this mentally, but it's okay. Um, I always wanted four kids, but this is not how I wanted four kids, but they're all blessings. So it's April now, I'm currently six months pregnant. Um, so it's almost over and I can't wait. And guess what? I'm due in July. <laughs> I'm due July 19th, like right in the middle of Aaron and Juju's birthday. So, um, I'm hoping that this baby comes right there because if the baby come like before then, then I'm scared that the baby will come between Zara and Aaron's birthday and I, I don't want that happen cannot wait till july to get here i'm gonna do a whole separate video of a um of update like a pregnancy update so most likely i'm gonna do it now and i'm gonna be wearing the same thing so don't tell me i'm wearing the same thing i already know i'm wearing the same thing i just told y'all i'm gonna make do another video with the same outfit but yeah i want to um talk about that and i'll reveal, reveal the gender of the baby and whatnot and how the pregnancy been going. And that's about it for this video. This past two years, I've just been going through trial and tribulations and having babies. So um, yeah, I'm like a new mom of finna be four kids now. Um, last time y'all seen me, I was finna be a mom of two. Now I'm a mom of finna be four. Yeah, that's just about everything that's been going on. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.